Hello, my name is Kathy Desports. I'm the scholarship coordinator for Colorado Mountain College, and I'm putting this video together just to get, walk you through the CMC Foundation scholarship process. First, I'm going to go over some highlights of the scholarship process, and then I'll show you where you actually access the application. All right, I'll start by sharing my screen. Okay. Um, so, um, some highlights. The application opened November 1st and it is due on March 1st, so you still have plenty of time to apply. One of the most critical pieces of the application is the letter of recommendation. You want to first ask someone, a teacher, a counselor, a coach, an employer, if they will provide the letter of recommendation. And then once they've agreed, you're going to put their name and email address in the application and it will send an an email to them. So they need to be on the lookout for that. Sometimes it goes to their junk mail, um, but it really is an important piece and it's out of your control a little bit. You will be notified once it's been uploaded with an email to your CMC email address. So you want to be looking for that or checking back in your application. But if you don't have that letter in your application by a few days after March 1st, it won't go on for review, so a very critical piece. So I'm sure um, many of you are aware of heard of the FAFSA or the new CASFA now. Um, those are not required for our scholarship application because some students aren't eligible to complete it, but it is something that we highly, highly recommend all students that are able to complete. We just really want you to access all the funding options that are available to you. And you, if, if you are eligible for say a Pell Grant or some state aid through one of these applications, you could receive that and still receive a scholarship, which not, would not, not only cover potentially your cost to attend, but also help with some living expenses. So so um, there's a lot of generosity out there, so we just want you to tap into all of it. And I did also want to make you aware that, there, that the school does offer each graduating local high school senior what's called the President Scholarship. It's $1,000 to attend CMC, and unlike our CMC Foundation scholarship application process, you are automatically eligible for that as long as you complete the FAFSA or CASFA by March 31st graduate from high school, and then enroll as a full-time student next fall. Um, so the way the process works is after March 1st, the applications go out to be reviewed by a scholarship committee. The committees meet in late March, early April, and choose scholarship recipients, and you will be sent an email both by me and then an electronic email with an offer. It is critical that once you see that email, you accept the offer if you plan to attend and upload a thank you letter and photo, which then I share with the donor. So that is important. You will not receive your funds without completing that process. So just some general information. Typically, um, most of, many of our scholarships are looking for degree-seeking students, and we want you to be in at least six credits, which is two classes, typically most classes are three credits, um, at least six credits for the fall and spring semester, um, and we are looking for about a 2.5 GPA. Um, and you do want to think about whether you think you'll attend part-time or full-time in the fall um, and make sure that you answer that question accurately in the application because some of our scholarships are specific to full-time students. And if you say that you're going to be full-time and then part-time, it could mess with your scholarship, so you don't want that. Um, so one thing that makes this application really easy is you fill out the one application based on the way you answer the questions, then it auto matches you to all the scholarships that you qualify for. So you don't have to go in and click through 10 and apply to 10 different scholarships, just that one application is going to auto match you to all your opportunity. And we do have uh, a tremendous amount of generosity within our community. We have over 200 scholarships in the system, and many of those scholarships have multiple awards. So we typically award about 550 to 600 scholarships each year and over a million dollars. This last year was $1.2 million. So a lot of generosity, a lot of community, and a lot of support for tremendous students like yourself. Um, and the scholarships, we really do try to look at your need, and they range from anywhere from $500 up to $15,000. That's right, $15,000. Um, and some of the scholarships are meant to cover the charges for your tuition and your books and your fees on your account. And then some of them are what we call a cost of attendance scholarship, and they'll actually help you with some living experience responses kind of like a Pell Grant would. So now I'm going to switch in and go and show you um, where you would find the actual application. 
Okay, so if you go to uh, Colorado MTN, our website, the first thing you need to do, really important, is complete the admissions application. And you do that by clicking the Apply Now button. And why that is important is because you have to access the scholarship application through Basecamp, the CMC portal, and you can't do that until you have a username and password, and you don't get a username and password until you've completed that admissions application. And that's gonna be an important piece for the President's Scholarship too, that you're in our system by March 31st. So important just to go ahead and get that done now. I think it can take up to a week for your admissions application to process before you find out that username and password. And then once you've completed the uh, admissions application, you'll be able to access Basecamp. So we click into Basecamp and you will, it will take you into the student homepage, and then down here as you scroll down under, it's called, uh, oh, well, let's see, sorry, um, under, you want to be in, in student resources, oh, sorry, taking you back, hold on, okay, so you go into student resources here, and then under student resources down here, on the far right hand side is the scholarship application. You click on that and it just takes you directly into the application. And I'll just switch to applicant so you can see what it looks like. So it's meant to be a very short, easy, straightforward application. It's gonna ask you just for some basic contact information, um, age, uh, if you're first generation, if you were born here, and we don't share this any information with anyone else. Um, it is important that you put your GPA in and then you verify your GPA with an unofficial copy of your high school transcript. And you can upload that right there. And then um, your ACT or SAT scores. Um, it is important to think about what campus you want to attend um, because the, you'll, you match to certain scholarships based on that. And then again, for your, um, what, your, what you plan to study, your primary degree or certificate, uh, most of our scholarships are for degree seeking students. So even if you don't know what you want to study or do when you come to CMC, that's okay. I would maybe just put an associate of science or general studies, put that in. And then once you get here and you decide what it is that you want to do, you can change that. Um, but putting a degree as opposed to undecided or undeclared is important. Um, upcoming class level is going to be freshmen and then again level enrollment you really want to think about where you whether you're going to be part-time or full-time uh, and then there are four just short easy essays um, they are meant to be a maximum of 250 words so so not long um, so we just want to know if you have any leadership or community involvement um, your personal and academic goals for the upcoming year um, your greatest achievement or um, most significant challenge, share a little bit about yourself. And then this one is pretty important, um, why you think you need or deserve a scholarship. And that gives the committee really an opportunity to see, you know, kind of what your financial situation is. And then um, again, the FAFSA, we want you to fill it out or the CASFA if you're eligible. Um, and and then you're actually, once that information will import in, so we can kind of see what your, your estimated family contribution is. And then um, again, the letter of recommendation, you're gonna put the name and email address and it'll send them over to them and then submit. And once you hit um, finish again, it'll show you all the scholarships that you match to. So, um, so again, meant to be a very easy, straightforward process. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions or have additional meetings with you, or if you have questions, um, your counselor can give you my contact information. Um, I look forward to seeing you at CMC next year and apply today. Thank you.